Hey there. I'm assuming you know how to use a for loop in Python, right? You probably know how to do for i in range. Hopefully you know how to use the built-in zip and enumerate, and you know how to iterate over lists and strings and dictionaries and sets and all of that. But do you know how that actually works? Do you know what makes it so that the for loop works with all of those things? Have you noticed how if you take the built-in range and you call it with the number one or with the number one billion or with the number one quintillion and that's the largest number I know how to say in English if you call it with that number it takes exactly the same time to run as if you just do range of one and that's almost instantaneous so certainly Python is not creating a list with one quintillion numbers right there's something lazy going on but what do I mean by lazy what does that mean and if the numbers aren't being created, how can I go over them with a for loop? So my name is Rodrigo and in my tutorial, re-implementing the module Iter Tools for Fun and Profits, we're going to be answering all of these questions and more through the lens of the module Iter Tools. The module Iter Tools is implemented in C and in this tutorial, you're going to be re-implementing it in pure Python just for the heck of it, because honestly, it's quite fun. But on top of that, on top of being fun, it's very instructive because it's going to give you an opportunity to really understand what iteration is and what iteration means in Python. And you're going to learn about what makes something an iterable. You're going to understand why we can talk about iterables, but also iterators. What are these two words? Why are they so similar? What's their relationship? You're going to see how the built-ins iter and next fit into this equation and you're going to see, and this is a very dark secret, you're going to see how you could replace all of your for loops with while loops. That's funky. That's funky. I like it. It's, it's going to be a seven or eight nice lines of code. That's going to be very interesting. And essentially that's what we will be doing. We will be exploring all there is to be said regarding iteration in Python. You'll be having plenty of exercises to re-implement the 19 iterators that you can find in the module iter tools. You'll have automated tests to check your work and we'll be going to have a lot of back and forth. I'm going to show you a couple of interesting concepts, a, a couple of interesting demos and then you do some exercises and we repeat this roughly for the duration of three hours. So if you want to learn more about the module iter tools, which is genuinely genuinely very helpful that by itself is already pretty much worth it so if you want to learn more about that module and if you want to learn more about the intricacies of python and how to make the best out of iteration in python which is pretty much the bread and butter of python programming then join me and i hope to see you there bye